Why do Chinese travel around the world? Have they been influenced by movies or by good books? Have they been looking at friends' pictures on social media? Maybe, but there's another reason. It's not so easy to set out on a whim. Most Chinese tourists are in the burgeoning middle class. A man must be brave to set off like that. Oh wait, that's not quite the right way to say it. Because it's Chinese women who are more likely to be international tourists. Perhaps men would travel more after women have shown the way. In an information age, Chinese people use information tools to travel, to check plane tickets, hotels, restaurants, and whatever else. Where do Chinese travelers like to go? Usually they go to Singapore, Malaysia, and Thailand. Alert fancy destinations, here come the Chinese. There's a diverse range of natural and cultural destinations. When the Chinese head of state visits a country, it paves the way for new tourism to develop. Chinese travelers usually go to countries that feature breathtaking scenery and low-priced commodities where Mr. Xi Jinping has already been. Chinese travelers visit Japan's Fujiyama to appreciate the cherry blossoms and enjoy the stretched noodles and sashimi. Chinese travelers will also go to lengths to take in beautiful landscapes despite cold climates. Basically, the Chinese travelers will go to whatever destinations that are praised on social media. What do Chinese tourists like to do overseas? Frankly, they want to buy, buy, buy. It's like a shopping spree. Definitely, take my word for it, this is the first stage for Chinese tourists abroad. Gosh, no! Gosh, no! Gosh, no! What Chinese characteristics? Oh, this one. Thumbs up for the Chinese. Actually, Chinese travelers create a lot of local revenue and work opportunities. Tourism presents Chinese people to the world and the world to the Chinese. The last 30 years of economic growth has fueled the Chinese ability to travel abroad. Growing confidence about China facilitates travel for Chinese tourists.